What's up everybody, it's J Mac and welcome to Bigfoot Input. I feel like this is going to be a great episode, so uh, we're going to jump right into it in a minute. First of all, just want to go over some quick announcements. Uh, if you haven't heard already, we launched our second channel. Uh, it's called Cryptic Input. Uh, we would love it if you would just step over there, check it out, subscribe. Uh, we have a few videos up. We are currently working on more. Also, we launched our merch store, so if you're interested in picking up a shirt or uh, some of the other things we offer, uh, the link will be posted in the bio. Uh, also, on a quick note, if you are interested in any custom type of uh, apparel or anything, really, um, something you don't see on the site but you would want, like a different background or different color or something, anything, anyway, I'll be glad to customize whatever it is that you personally want. So all you have to do is reach out to me at uh, bigfootinput at gmail.com. Okay, and we'll be glad to take care of it for you. All right, uh, last thing is we offer memberships now. So I want to welcome uh, Adventure Monty and C. Richardson. Thank you both very much for supporting the channel. We, uh, we do notice. We appreciate you. And I welcome anyone else to join. Uh, it's $1.99 a month. It's just a small way uh, that you can help out the channel and, and keep us rolling. So we appreciate that. But now, let's get on with the getting on and talk about why we're really here. So one of our members emailed this picture to us. I believe it was Jeff. Uh, just wondering what we thought about it. We have posted this picture before. Um, I know we posted it back on the blog like back in the day. But anyway... Um, we originally weren't sure what to think of it either. Now, given some years have gone by, uh, it's come to light that what this picture actually is, is, uh, there's like these different shows on like, you know, Discovery and Animal Planet that talk about Sasquatch. And, um, this is a computer generated image and it's been filtered, you know, black and white for whatever reason I guess to look like some sort of trail cam I don't know but uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to venture to say that it's not real um, and that it is computer generated so unfortunately it's just not a real picture so gotta call it straight so this is kind of a neat picture this is uh, from uh, book authors Joseph Annie uh, that's their Facebook name um uh, not entirely sure what books they wrote, honestly, but they, they claim to be book authors, so we'll go with that. But So obviously what we're seeing is a face and a, and a cone-shaped head, and I can't tell if it's like sitting behind a rock or if the rock-looking structure is its body, but I kind of see two different color variations. So I'm going to go with it's sitting behind a rock. You know, they love to be hidden anyway. I can't imagine it's just going to sit out in the open like that uh, while someone's taking a picture of it. So I think he's peeking up from behind this rock. So it's a good you know, good picture, good shot. Um, if you haven't heard of these people, they, they do have some legitimately good pictures. And we've talked about them in previous videos. Uh, so definitely check them out. Uh, you know, hey, maybe go buy their books. I, I don't really know what their books are but um maybe i'll research that and let you know in the next video okay here we go so so anybody that has been on this channel long enough knows my feeling about dogman i legitimately feel that there has not been enough evidence produced about dogman to make an educated decision or to just decide that they're real okay now if you if you've seen one and you're just positive that you saw an upright walking bipedal canine, then great. Good for you. You've seen one, and in your mind, it exists, and no one can change your mind. That's fine. Myself, I have never seen one. Uh, I've never seen a Sasquatch either, but I've heard one, and I've seen the prints in person, and I have seen enough evidence from researchers to know that they exist so yeah well, we'll we'll go on from there so 
you know, you know, you don't believe me. Ask, ask my buddy Ryan over at Monster Radio. He knows how I feel about Dogman. But this is a legitimately good picture. So obviously it reads Dogman, a still clip off of video. I have not seen the video. Now I want to. Uh, from Whisper Walkers, and a name that I'm not going to attempt to pronounce because I don't want to mess that up. But uh, if anyone has seen this video, let me know. I, I think I'm I'm going to go research it now and, and watch this video. But uh, it, it honestly does look like a decent picture of a dog man. And I believe I have a, yeah, I have a blown up version here. I mean, you can you can see the two legs. You can see the snout. You can see the pointy ears on the top of the head there. Almost looks like a standing bear, but it would be a terribly skinny bear. And I think the ears are set a little different than if it were a bear. Um, I have no choice but to call this legitimate. Now, could it be a guy in some sort of suit? Well, yeah, I guess. You know, they all could be. Um... But uh, I, I'm I'm not gonna scream guy in suit. So uh, I'm a, I'm a little stumped on this picture, honestly. I I mm, I think it could be real. I, I I need to see the video. I'll uh I'll tell you what. When I find the video, I'll make a video about the video. How about that? And then we can all see. This picture was just posted on our uh, on our Facebook this morning, and it's by a woman named. Portia St. Germain. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. But um, anyway, she's uh, she, she makes a trek to this thing. Um, it's, a, it's a min here. And from what I understand, these are like prehistoric stones that are like standing vertically for whatever reason. Uh, apparently they don't know why they were put that way. Uh, but they were. You know, it meant something to somebody at some point. So... Anyway, so she says she takes this picture, and she says, I didn't see anything black there with the naked eye, but when I developed the pictures, I see this black mass. Now, she goes on to say that she thinks it is uh, a guardian of the stone, and it wasn't malevolent. She felt very you know, peaceful and uh, calm. So... I started taking a look at this picture, and I was like, man, but what is that? And I, it just looks like this black mass kind of sticking out to the side of this, this stone. But I want you to look a little above the black mass. And I want you to just imagine that this tree cover is not there. And we blew this picture up for you. Do you guys see the face that I see? It's literally like center screen right now. And... It kind of coincides with the darkness of the body, right? And you can, if you follow the body up, get on that right side of the body and follow it up. You'll see the darkness and it outlines the, the head and, and everything. So she posted this on our page and of course we are Bigfoot input, but we deal with a lot of paranormal stuff too. Uh, we deal with, you know, spirits, ghosts, uh, UFOs, you know, well, you, you know, you know we, whatever. But, um, so, her interpretation of what this thing was, um, I, I, I don't know about that. You know, I mean, a keeper of the stone, a uh, guardian of the stone, rather, I, I don't know enough about the subject to really have an educated opinion. But, I, I personally wouldn't rule out Bigfoot. So France is not known for having Sasquatch activity. Okay, in fact, most of Europe is not known for that. Uh, England, Ireland, you know, they're not. Uh, although I do have a guy from Ireland that uh, claims that he's seen the Bigfoot before. But so I, I'm not going to rule it out. Is my point? I, I don't think that there's a ton of activity or a lot of uh, population. But I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility that they exist there. So I'm going to say that this is obviously something. Not human. Could it be a Bigfoot? Yes. What is it? I'm not sure. But 
I will say that it's humanoid because look at the face. It has typical eyes, nose, cheeks, uh, cranial ridge, uh, even kind of has a cone shaped head. I mean, it's all there. So could this be evidence of Bigfoot in Europe? Yes, it could. So this guy sent me this picture a long time ago and he was telling me that he was having problems with this creature um, on his property, like kind of, I, I can't remember the detail. He was, he was being destructive in some manner, uh, tearing down trees and and just doing this. And, that. and, and uh, forgive me because I don't remember where this is. Uh, but uh, you can see this. So this guy sets up a camera, you know, because he wants to catch this thing on film, you know. But he says it's very sneaky. He said it mainly goes out, you know, does these things at night. He can't catch it on camera. Um, and it's like, this is like a trail cam, so it's just taking pictures, you know. Uh, you can see, like, the little emblem of the camera there. It's 57 degrees wherever he is, uh, which I'm very jealous. It is not 57 here in Florida. We are, you know, now if, if you have friends in Florida, you need to check on them. We are hot down here, okay? So, I know you're saying about now, like, like Jay Mac, come on, there's nothing in this picture, don't you know? What, what are you doing? So, well, m maybe, but let's look a little deeper back there in the woods. What is that? I mean, yeah, it's far away, and, you know, it's not a great capture, but what is that? I mean, that, that's a Bigfoot. Right? That's that that's the iconic shape of a Bigfoot. And it doesn't look to be any like if it's a if it's a cutout of any kind, which I mean it could be, I guess. He made it himself. I mean I've seen just about every cutout that there is out there of Bigfoot. Um but it, you could almost kind of see the three D on it. You can see it has slight color variations. And I mean, like I said, it's hard to see from from how far away it is and it's zoomed in. But yeah, but I mean, based on this guy's story, uh, he just he he went on a this is kind of a long diatribe of what this creature was doing, and it wasn't it wasn't great, you know. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for the guy, but I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? You're in Bigfoot's territory, you know. But um. I think it's it's crazy. It's like some of us consider these to be these majestic, amazing creatures, and and they are very cool, you know. But they're still just creatures. Uh, they're still, you know, flesh and blood primates, and they act like it. You know, I mean, they'll 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 kill your dog. They'll kill any wildlife or farm animals that you have to eat them. You know, uh, they'll harass you for whatever reason maybe they don't like you they don't want you there they'll they'll throw rocks at your house or they'll you know whatever whatever it is they do they do and uh so yeah they're not always just all magic sometimes they are just stories of people trying to live and being bothered by bigfoot so she says um i can't i can't remember where this was unfortunately i want to say it was tennessee like, like, almost like some sort of gorge in Tennessee. So she's on this bridge. And she sees this thing and doesn't know what it is. And so she takes a picture of it. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in for you. There you go. Kind of looks like a big fat monkey, right? Well, a gorilla maybe. Well, sure, that makes sense. So it could be a Bigfoot. could be a big primate sitting there. So... I was like, well, either that or, it, you know, it could be a rock. I don't know. It's not it's very indistinct. So I took it upon myself at the time to go to Google Earth and find the location that she took this picture. And I did find it. And this creature, this, I'm sorry, this thing <laughs> was not in the picture on Google Earth. So whatever it is moved or was moved um it looks like a pretty big rock i can't imagine that anyone would just bother themselves to move it but um 
I particularly think it's more likely that this is a Bigfoot and that she took a picture of it. And at some point, he got up and left. Or Google Earth took the picture before he was there, or you know what I mean. This is one of the most impressive Bigfoot footprints that I've ever seen. Um, if I, if my memory serves me, this guy is in Australia somewhere. Look at the size of that foot. That's, it's massive. And a better question is what happened to this guy's foot? Damn, man. You'd like some sunblock on your feet. But I thought I'd incorporate this. I, I just, I've, I've seen foot cast before but I mean this one is just super impressive <laughs> this, this is me 100% this is me at work this is me with my friends if I had any uh, you know this is just this, this is me all the time okay uh, um, I don't know what's going on in this picture I mean, what it looks like, it looks like a Bigfoot is sitting down on a rock next to a river, possibly relieving himself. I don't really know, but could this be legit? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it could be. I, the problem is, I don't know what else it is. I don't, I, like, I, you could say, oh, it's a log or it's a stone. It doesn't look like either one of those. It doesn't look like a human it looks like a sasquatch so that's what we're going to say it is that's that this picture was posted on facebook by dutchy beliefs and stick with me this is it's a blurry one but i think it's a good shot and i'm going to show you why so when we look at the picture straight on without any filters I see a head shape, I see the nose, and I'm kind of looking just above the center of the picture right now. So I see a nose, and I see the two eye sockets and the cheek, and what I am, what my mind is making out to be a mouth and a chin, okay? So I went ahead and changed the lighting and contrast on this picture. So I think you can see it better here. You can see the, you can almost see like the hair discoloration on the head and the nose and, and so on. And I maybe even ears, but here's where it gets interesting to me. And I want you guys to forgive me for drawing on these pictures because I normally don't support that, but I really wanted you to see what I was seeing here. Or are we seeing two creatures? Are we seeing an adult and a juvenile? And there's my Picasso style drawing of where the eyes, nose, and mouth placement would be if it was two creatures. Um, I really can't decide on that. I, 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 I'm leaning towards two creatures, towards a mother and a, or a, an adult and a juvenile. But uh, I'm going to let you guys tell me what you think on that one. Um... Either way, I think it's a good shot. I think it's legitimate. But I'm just a little torn about whether it's one or two creatures. But So I went back and forth about whether I was even going to include this in the video. But ultimately, I like to stay objective about things. And I think that we need to talk about what needs to be talked about. Even if it ruffles some feathers or upsets some people. So here we go. Uh, Colorado Bigfoot recently posted this picture. So what we have here is a Sasquatch looking creature who is semi-opaque for some reason. And it's in the tree line. Uh, some people will tell you that this is a Sasquatch who is either in the um, process of cloaking or uncloaking itself or... You know, he is entering or exiting some sort of portal into a third dimension 
where he hangs out with Santa Claus. So, anyway, uh, this is the picture. And for all intents and purposes, it's kind of cool. I like it. I'm like, oh, that's a neat picture. Wow, that's great. I started, like, investigating a little further, though. And then I was like, I've seen this creature before. Where have I seen this? Where have I seen it? And then it dawned on me. This is the Jack Lynx messing with Sasquatch Sasquatch character. So essentially this is a guy in a suit. A pretty good suit too. But I can't ignore the similarities between the two creatures. Now, is it the exact same picture? No. Uh, and in fact, I think we can see the head is in a different position. But is it the same suit? Well, that I don't know. I'm just pointing out that they are very similar. And I don't want to extend my opinion much farther than that. However, I did want to show you this picture. This is a picture that I made on my phone, and it took me two minutes. So, all I'm saying, guys, is... Always stay objective and always look beyond what you're actually seeing. Just look a little further and just don't believe immediately what you're being shown and for the reason that you're being shown it, if that makes sense, you know? Uh, so I'm going to move on from that subject because, as I said, I'm not trying to step on toes. But I just think we have to we have to watch ourselves and each other. So shameless plug real quick. Uh, Cryptic Input is our new channel. We have three videos posted. One is about an axe murder that happened in Central Florida. Uh, one is about the flight of 401, which crashed in the Everglades and... The circumstances that surrounded that crash are astounding. And the other video is about the mysterious death of a man named David Box. Um, I think that you'll find these interesting if you enjoy uh, dark paranormal or dark crime. And we would uh, be very grateful if you would step over to that channel after this video and subscribe. And just check those videos out. And if you enjoy them, we will have more content coming. Uh, this is another one by the uh, book authors, Joseph Annie. And I believe in the description of the picture, they said that this big guy was sitting on a hill. And I think that we are seeing the rear of it. Uh, it does kind of have the shape of a Sasquatch sitting in uh, cross-legged, you know? And there's really not a lot else to say about this picture. I mean, I have to say that based on the legitimacy of the rest of their pictures, because they do have a lot of great... Ca uh, they do have a lot of good captures. I would have to say that I take them for, on their word as far as what we're looking at. Um, you know, because objectively this could just be a rock but it it looks like it's more than that like it looks you, you can almost see on the outline of the of this thing you can almost see the fuzz like the the hair you know it's it's hard to make out but it's there if you look so i don't think it's a rock i think it's what they say it is it's the it's the uh, i think we're looking at the rear of this creature sitting on a hill. Here's another one. I like this picture. Um, I think this is nothing more than we're seeing the rear of a Bigfoot. And uh, because there's nothing else that it could be. And the only other thing that would even be remotely possible is that it's a guy in a suit. Okay. So maybe. 
uh, if somebody made this suit, they went through a lot of hard work to to focus on the details. And the detail for me is the glute muscles, you know, or, or butt cheeks if we want to be kids about it. But, I mean, literally look at the detail on the back of that creature. And it's not a gorilla. You can tell that from its stance. And, again, the only other thing that it could be is a suit. And I'm going to say that I don't believe it's a suit. I, I, I just don't. So I think that someone caught a, a picture of a Bigfoot. A good one, too. I don't know where that picture comes from. Sorry. Uh, I think we all know this guy by now. If you don't, this is uh, Swan Lake Bigfoot. And uh, the guy he's pretty awesome. Uh, I, I, I like his channel. I like his content. I don't really listen to what the haters have to say about him you know I, uh people say a lot of things i i recently uh overheard someone say that if you if you don't have any haters you're not doing anything and that's true that's true if you don't have people that uh that try to oppose you then that's because you're not doing anything and uh so he, he does this thing where he looks into the camera and he'll talk about you know whatever he wants to talk about right so let's take a look over his shoulder though what is that i mean that is um that's a bigfoot plain and simple so there's really not much else for me to say but this bigfoot is peeking out from behind this tree over his shoulder and uh, it's got to be pretty cool to have that sort of relationship where you're not really in any danger of this creature and you get to film it. You know, I think that's, I think that's really cool. So yeah, cool guy, cool channel. Uh, Swan Lake Bigfoot. If you haven't, if you haven't seen his stuff, he has some awesome stuff. You guys, that's it for me. So if you enjoyed the content again, please like subscribe and share with anyone, you know, uh, again, um, our membership is only $1.99 a month. It's really um, small potatoes to you, but it means a lot to us. And and I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. I, uh, I have 6,000 subscribers. If every single one of them was a member, I would be doing this professionally. Absolutely love that. But in the meantime, we are going to keep on with the keep it on and um keep creating content for you guys and uh please hop over to the other channel and check us out there that's it for me guys all right j mac out keep squatching